um, about a signing that FCC did today. Was that work when it happened? So I could not get a video right away. Um, they signed someone, Dekel Kanan. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, apparently, he's a guy from Israel. Um, I can't pronounce the team he played on in their league. Um, but he's from Israel. Um, apparently, he played some on the Is Israel national team. Um, I mean, he played... Uh, they said the team was in the Israeli uh, Premier League. Which, like I said, I'm new... I'm relatively new to soccer, so I don't know if that's their main league. If that is Israel's number one league, top league, um, that that's impressive. Um, I don't know if that says more about FC Cincinnati or more of uh, FC Cincinnati or more of um, how good soccer is in Israel. But um, um, the videos I've seen of him, he's big. Uh, he's got a lot of size. Um, he's good. Um, He's really good with the ball. Uh, he's 33. He's a little old. Um, but from what I've gathered is that um, center back seem to be the one, which is the main defensive position. It's the line, basically the last line of defense from the goalie and the center. Um, center backs seem to be the position where I found that you can be more, um, they go with veterans, not really age. You don't have to be as young or even fast. Those go more for skill. Because, like, I think Austin Berry on our team this year, I think, was one of our older players. And he was the main guy. He probably think he had the most MLS experience. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's really, I, he seems, from what I've, the videos and pictures I've seen, he's a big dude. Um, so I like the size. It, and from what I've gathered on Twitter, um, he seems to play physical. They said he's a fighter. He never gives up, stuff like that. I've seen uh, several tweets from his old fans, from his old team. Um, they seem to really love him. So, um, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm relatively new to soccer, so I don't know the players as well. I mean, I don't, I don't really know the MLS players great that well. So, let alone Division Two, because like I can imagine we're we're Division Two still, USL. So we're not going to get top level. MLS players, we are looking mainly in the offseason for fringe, fringe players, players that could maybe challenge um, for an MLS roster. We want to obviously get the highest quality we can, maybe fringe players that can challenge for an MLS roster, but we're not going to get top level players because if they were top level in this country, they the odds are they would be in the MLS. So, yeah, uh, from what I've seen... Um, like I said, I don't know that great about soccer. So basically, I go by, I watch the people that do know a lot about soccer. And, like, I watch on Twitter, the guys on, on um, Cincinnati Soccer Talk, those guys know what goes about soccer, know well, a lot more about soccer than I do. I'm learning. I'm getting used to the sport. I, I really, which I'll make a video here eventually about how I became an FCC fan um, and a soccer fan. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I know I don't know that much about soccer as I, as I do basketball, football, baseball, the other sports. So I just look at the people that know a lot about soccer and from what I've seen, the people that know what they're talking about say this guy is a really good player and obviously he's 33 so maybe he's kind of towards the end of his career which is completely fine um so i'm hoping he can be a veteran presence i'm hoping we still re-sign delbridge um because we have delbridge and austin berry as our center backs right now obviously delbridge will be younger i think they were thinking delbridge possibly would try to maybe go to the mls so it'll, that'll depend on um that'll definitely depend on things um but yeah from what I've seen, and what I could research, is it was a good it was a good signing, and the videos I've seen of him are pretty impressive. Um, once again, he's from Israel. Uh, the team he played on, I can't even pronounce. So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Dekel Kamen, I think is his name. It's our first official 2018 uh, signing. Um, 
which it was expected. Um, Alan Koch went on a, like a 13, 14 day trip pretty much right after the end of the season press conference. Um, so we were thinking that he came back and Israel was one of the places he went. He went to like two different countries. Israel was one of the places that he visited and apparently he got the kill. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Uh, just a quick update. Uh, if you watch this video, uh, and you, you're an FCC fan, um, tell me in the comments how you feel about the signing and what you think he can do this season. Um, yeah, um, I'll show you guys, can I switch this out? See if I can switch it out. Okay. Here is, I just got it framed today. This is a poster of the three U.S. Open Cup matches. Oh, uh, yeah, the crew game, the fire game, and then the uh, the Red Bulls game. They gave it to us the last game of the season. I've had it since the last home game. Finally got it framed the other day. Looks nice. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you next time. Bye.